G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. This is the 3F UL Gear Kidium Pro Backpack. It's a nice lightweight one. If you haven't seen my first video, I'll put a card up here so go and have a look and then come back or watch this one first and then go and watch that one. They'll both work either way. I've used it for now for about what, two weeks. It's been comfortable with the change I made with it. I haven't made a change to it. I've just done something different using what's already here. Now, the one thing I did show in the last video, if you haven't noticed, I made this cord a bit longer. So that's the only thing I've changed on the pack. Now this is set up for three days out. I've got my uh, shelter here, I've got my uh, sleep system, my food here, my cook kit, everything is all loaded into this. And it's probably just at the 40 litre mark. But with it being a frameless pack, you normally have to use your sleeping pad if you use one of these ones. Now, this I did have an issue with. When I was wearing it, the bottom of the pad was rubbing my lower back and it was so uncomfortable. Now, the pack's been made for people of five foot eight. I'm five foot six. But I've found a way to make it work where it's comfortable for me and I wore it this way for the first day and no, the first day and a half and I just couldn't cope with it. It's just all the rubbing down here. It was a no-no. So let me show you what I actually did to make it a lot more comfortable. And another thing of doing this, it gave me a much more uh, hip belt adjustment. So I'll show you first the hip belt wearing it with this in and then I'll show you it without it in and using the what I did to make it work for me. Now you can probably see at the bottom there it's actually below my belt line where my belt, uh, pants are pulled up properly and as I'm walking that is actually rubbing straight across there and it is so annoying and it begun to make me sore and the other way thing is here now let's cinch this up a bit more let's put that back you can see I've only got about two inches that side similar there two inches that side but as I walked, I had to tighten it up and I ended up with about one, between half an inch and a one inch on either side of adjustment. No problem with that. With my 32, 34 inch waist, it still worked. Now this is a bonus with what I've done here because I wasn't planning on using this pad with this pack for what I was going to uh, want to do with it. So that comes out. Now, I've got no back support at all. The first thing I tried, and it did work, was, let's take this out. I made, made sure my tent was at the bottom of my pack. And that actually forced the back out here and gave me some support on the, on the lower part of my back, the lumbar, and it sat in there quite nice. But this still sat flat on my back and it did make me perspire. Not, not too much with the weather cooling down, but it still made me perspire. So what I did is I repacked all my pack. I got my sleep uh, clothes first and my, uh, my quilts in there. Then I got my pillow and my actual inflatable sleep mat on top. And I went from there. So all the soft stuff is here. And I've got all that in a dry uh, bag. And then on top of that, I put my cook kit and my food. So the cook kit and the food, the cook kit I can, there is, I have to, you have to push in to find it, but I've set it off to one side. 
because that rounds off as it sits on your back. And then what I did, my tent, this is the Lanshan 2. I put down in here. And one thing I made sure was my straps were at the top, so I've got a buckle there, a buckle at the bottom, and the stiffener, actually I used the Lanshan Pro 1, and it's about the same size. But I made sure I took my tent pegs out of here, so I had nothing sharp going in my back, and the stiffener at the top over the vent was at the back or at the bottom out of the way also. So now, when I wear it with the actual uh, tent here, that up to the belt up at the bottom you'll notice I've got a lot more belt there to adjust as I'm walking adjust the shoulder straps now just needed about an inch to stop it from pulling back maybe another half inch an inch and a half more so that's now I can feel it up here I've got the load lifters, check them, yep, I've got them pulled all the way up, so I could just feel the top of the pack when I put my neck back, it's only just touching by doing that, so that's still nice and comfortable, and then you'll notice I've got a big gap here, ventilation. And because the pack is leaning forward into my shoulders, I'm not getting that feeling of being pulled back as I was walking. So my tent can go there on where the actual pad normally goes for the back support. The only thing you lose is a bit of rigidity in the pack. But if you take your time and do the pack up, now this, this table is no good for sitting on, and do your pack up, uh, pack it properly, do your pack up, gently in the right spots just take your time you'll get to that point where we've got this now that's sitting just up here just touching so let's move them ones out of the way that is just coming up resting on my shoulders now I'm five foot six and they made this pack for five foot eight a lot of shorter people have said that shoulders don't touch they're right they're up too high but with this here I think that's lifted the pack up at the back and pushed it into my shoulders and allowing the actual shoulder pads of the shoulder straps to sit close to my shoulders there. So I can actually feel them now. So that's a win for me. Pulling even tighter. And you can see I've, that is tighter than I normally wear. I've got about two inches on either side. So if you've got a smaller waist than the 32, 34, what I am, going about that by this, you're looking at about a 28, 30 inch waist, say, in between 28, 30, and this will fit you if you're using it this way. Maybe even, I don't know, maybe even 26, 28 inch waist. I haven't got one, so I couldn't tell you for, for sure, but yeah, putting my tent in the back here has made a big, big difference. And again, the actual weight is actually sitting of my tent is actually sitting there in the center of my back and everything else is where you normally pack your backpack. So I hope that's going to help you out now. If you're thinking of getting one of these, but you're seeing because you're not tall enough or your waist isn't big enough for it, there's a way of making it fit without using the actual switchback from Nemo as your actual uh, backpack on it. You gain ventilation, a lot of ventilation, probably more ventilation there than any of my backpacks I've actually got. But it's getting the actual support needed. Fits around the waist. So that's a win-win now. Rather than having that 
persp perspiration of the back I have in the bottom of the actual switchback rubbing on the bottom here and I've still got some room here if I wanted to hitch it up a bit more and tighten it so now that's sitting a little bit taller that's all all working good and again if you haven't seen this a whistle I'm not going to blow it hard the cats in here and the dogs at the door and they'll start going crazy the cat's actually down there by my feet that's puss puss down there so there you are the 3F UL gear lightweight backpack so if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber please go down below and click on that subscribe button and then click the notification bell next to it and select all and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care